Hi, welcome back. It's Michael LaMonico. So we've been doing all kinds of home cooking. I'm at home and I'm cooking. And I'm cooking things that I love to eat. And one of the things that I love to eat is risotto. And risotto is really simple to make. And it's a great special occasion dish. Mother's Day, Father's Day, birthdays. It shows care, it shows tenderness by something special. It is special, but it's also very simple. I have a pan on the fire. I'm gonna put a little olive oil in this pan. And I have, risotto starts with a little olive oil and a small onion that I diced. I'm just gonna put the onion in to the oil. Now I'm sauteing this onion but we don't want any color on it. We don't want it to caramelize. We just want it to get nice and translucent. So as the onion cooks and it turns translucent, let's just take a look. I'm using arborio rice, which is rice from Italy. It's a beautiful rice when it cooks. It has a really creaminess to it that really adds to the dish. You can use conaroli rice from Italy, but if you don't have either of those, I don't care if you use a rice from Carolina, that's fine. It's the cooking process that makes risotto so special. And the cooking process is the slow addition of the broth, and I'm using chicken broth. And if you don't have chicken broth, and you only want to use water, use water, that's fine, no problem. So now, my onion is really coming to a nice stage. There's olive oil in there, and now the rice goes in. And I said this is arborio rice. Now what it does is now we toast, we toast the rice in the oil. This toasting is not for color, but really it cooks the exterior and kind of seals the exterior of the grain of rice. So then as the broth or water is added, you really get a cooked rice that has a nice creamy interior. And this adds a little bit of the crunch to a risotto, a little bit of that al dente quality. So let's, let's let that cook. I love risotto. Risotto is so simple and it can go with any kind of a meal. So let's let this toast for a second and we'll come right back to it. We're listening because you could actually hear that the rice is getting the proper kind of a crunch on the outside, and that's what I want. So this is ready for the first addition of liquid, which in that, in this case, the first addition of liquid is white wine. Now you could make a red wine risotto using red wine, which I love, but we're gonna go with the traditional white wine, any white wine you have, and I bet you have some white wine around, a Chardonnay, a Sauvignon Blanc, Italian wine, Mount Etna Blanco, Bianco, whatever, whatever you have. So now my wine will go in. And the wine goes in, add your liquid slowly, because you want to get it in to the pan in a kind of uniform manner. Now we'll take a look at it, and you can see we're going to keep the heat on very low, and we're going to let that absorb. The rice is really absorbing the wine, and it's just about done. As far as the absorption of the first addition of liquid, the wine. So you could see when waves form, that's when your rice is, these waves, that's what you want to see in the pan. Now we're going to go with some chicken broth. So let's put one ladle at a time, and let's let the rice absorb the chicken broth. And I want to remind you, this is on very low heat. So the whole process is on low heat, and many recipes call for continuous stirring. I, I don't do that. I get a creamier risotto by not continually stir. Just stir in the liquid, as I just did, and then let the cooking happen, let the absorption happen. And the stirring is to guarantee that it's not sticking to the bottom, and that's why I go with really low heat. So let's let that absorb and then we'll come back. Okay, now it's just about time for the second. Okay, let's just stir that in. Let's let that cook in. 
So it's ready for its final ladle of chicken broth. Now I used one cup of arborio rice, give or take a little bit more, and about two and a half cups of broth, which I'm just gonna put a little bit less than that, so that's, that's good. Now we have to let this cook. Let's let this cook. And this risotto is a spring vegetable risotto. This is asparagus, peas, whatever vegetables you have. No vegetables, fine. Just Parmesan risotto would be perfect. And I'm just adding a little bit of olive oil to the pan. Let's get that hot. Let's give a stir to the risotto. You stir so that you make sure that it's incorporating and that it's cooking evenly. And you can see that it's cooking evenly. You can, you can see you try to get the outside into the middle. And that's really coming along lovely. Now with a hot pan, I have asparagus. These are pencil asparagus, very, very thin, like a pencil. They call them pencil asparagus. So I didn't have to peel them. And they're raw. And my green peas, fresh green peas, also raw. I'm just going to saute these together in the olive oil. And these will just be beautiful together on top of my spring risotto. I can hear my risotto cooking. And it's absorbing. So that's just beautiful. It's absorbing the liquid, the broth, the wine, all in there. Now that it's been cooking, now I'm going to season my risotto. I didn't do that before because I didn't want my rice to get too tough. So I'm putting a little salt, some pepper. You could use white pepper if you like, but I really prefer the flavor of black pepper. Let's give the risotto a stir. And it doesn't hurt to shake the pan a little bit if you have a pan like this with a handle. Put the broth out of the way. There we go. My vegetables. Just giving them a, a quick cook with a little bit of olive oil and let's season them. Season everything as you go. A little salt and pepper. They're young spring vegetables, asparagus and peas. They don't need much time cooking and all their flavor will be there. And our risotto is almost done. Let's come back and we'll finish the dish. Great, look, look, that's right. It should have, it should have like waves. You see how the waves, how they hold together? They're still, it's still moist. You don't want to dry it out too much. So that was, cup of rice and about two and a half cups of liquid, but, but don't let it dry out, okay? Now, our vegetables are cooked, They're, it's off. Now it's time for the addition of the Parmesan cheese. So let's get our cheese in here. Parmesan cheese, about a quarter of a cup. Some people like more. I think that might've been a third of a cup, yeah. Some people like more. I like, that's just enough for me. And you can always add more when you serve the dish. And the last thing, two tablespoons of butter, more or less to your taste. And I'm turning this off now. I turn the heat off as I stir in the butter and the cheese. The cheese will get stringy if you keep the heat too high. The heat was on low, but I turn the heat off so that the cheese doesn't get stringy. Look at that. Risotto, if you'd like to put herbs in here, you can. Risotto, nice, really lovely, cream, very creamy. Let's get some into a, a dish. Beautiful. Perfect. How about some vegetables? Right on top some asparagus, some peas. Risotto, primavera, springtime. One of my favorites, enjoy.